The night, my wife, lovely wife, she's like falling asleep, and I can't fall asleep because I'm all scatterbrained, so I just start watching some YouTube clips, okay? And I end up seeing this clip of this lady down at the zoo, all right? This lady down at the zoo, who I'm sure wasn't making as much money as the guy who worked at the zoo, and that's what needs to stop. <laughs> hey, ladies, you ever think of opening your own zoo, you know? Is there a reason you wait till we build the whole fucking thing and then, then you're gonna show up when all the hard work is done? All the animals are captured, then you're gonna say, hey, where's my fucking corner office? Yeah. Start your own fucking zoo. Go out and go catch a cobra. See how that is. It's not the point of the story. I just like, I just like being a dick sometimes. So this lady down at the zoo, this lady down at the zoo, she taught this gorilla how to do sign language. Okay? And I don't just mean like hello and goodbye, like literally phrases. This thing could like like talk about its emotions. They were actually conversing. The gorilla was sitting there talking to her, oh my god, you look a little upset today. She's like, oh you know, I'm kinda of sad. And they're just talking. So immediately, like my brain just went fucking crazy. I was like, oh my god, she's talking to a gorilla. I love gorillas. Who doesn't want to talk to a gorilla? And then without thinking that my wife is sleeping, I just blurted out, ask it out my chicken bitch! Ask it out my chicken bitch! My wife like pops up, she's like, what are you doing? I'm like, look at this, look at this, she's talking to a gorilla. And we, we both just got sucked into this thing, right? So long story short, she's sitting there, she's talking to this gorilla, and one day she decides to get a little kit, little kitty cat, right? And immediately I'm thinking like, don't get it a cat. It's a gorilla, it's gonna twist the thing's head off, throw the body over there, play with the head for a while, <laughs> sniffing it and stuff, and then later it's gonna walk over set the head down next to the body and wonder why the whole thing's not getting up again? Because it's a fucking gorilla. It's a wild animal. Wild animals don't have pets, right? It's kill or be killed out there. That's it. They don't have little parakeets on their shoulders and shit. But it was the exact opposite. She gives it this little kitten and the thing immediately understood that it was a baby and this like parental thing came over. It was so like gentle and filled with joy and just it was like beautiful, right? And then they, they just understood that it loved this kitten and they started using it as like a teaching tool, right? So it's every night they take the cat back, all right? And then the next day they come in and if the gorilla learned its phrases, it got to play with the kitten. They use it as a motivational tool. So the gorilla's like vocabulary started going through the roof, all right? So to cut to the chase, one night they take the cat home. Somehow the little kitten gets out. It got hit by a car and it died. Yeah, that cat you never met died. <laughs> I'm sorry for your loss. I know you knew it, all of it, for fucking 20 seconds. You know? I don't know if it was dead instantly, like if it drove right over its head and poof, that was it. Or maybe it just hit the back legs and it tried to crawl away, but it was it was like stuck to the road and it was it was meowing out and it could see its breath. And right before it lost consciousness, the rats came in and it was, it was just screaming and it had such cute little paws, it was like little socks trying to get it off. I don't know what happened, but you seem so fucking concerned about this kitten. I think I throw out a couple of theories. More concerned about the kitten than all the Hitler shit, by the way. More of a reaction. More of a reaction, that's fine. Every crowd's a little bit different. It's not the point of the story, okay? The point of the story was now this lady had to go down to the zoo. She had to tell the gorilla that the kitten was dead, right? So she comes back down to the zoo and the gorilla's all amped up. This is like its favorite part of the day is that his mind is engaged and it sees this little friend. And at this point, it's, its vocabulary is like crazy now. And the lady shows up, the gorilla's all amped up and just looks at her just like, oh shit, what the, yeah, right? I can't do sign language. So you're gonna have to bear with me through the rest of this bit. I'm gonna do the best I can, all right? So the thing's like, what's up? Yeah! All right? But the zookeeper lady, she, she has like, you know, just sitting there all sad, you know, trying to think how she's gonna tell it, right? And the gorilla picked up on the vibe. Right? She's kind of like, uh, hello. Uh, all right? And also the gorilla's energy just comes all down. She just starts looking at the lady like, uh, what's, uh, what's, what's, what's wrong with you? Is there something that I, I, I need to know? Huh? <laughs> so the lady's sitting there, she's like, uh, ah, jeez. Uh, well, well, the, the, the kitty cat, it got hit. 
hit by a car, then it's fucking dead. And the gorilla immediately took it in. It immediately took it in and understood. Like his bottom lip started quivering, his eyes started watering up, it was dying like crying. And they go, later on that night, you could hear it crying inside of his house. They built it a house, I don't know why. They live in trees. Probably the guilt of putting the thing in a fucking jail, right? Whatever, it was like a two bedroom. It sounded like it was in the kitchen. And you just hear this thing in this house at night, just going, and that was the end of the video. the end of the video. And like you, I was sitting there like, what the fuck? Are you going to end on that? And then literally, right in that moment, I felt my wife's head just rest on my shoulder. She was like, that was so sad. I mean, it was beautiful, but it was sad. And I was just like, get off me. <laughs> get off me. And I closed the laptop set it down on the nightstand, and I just got up and I started pacing. It's this fucking rage was coming up in me. My wife's like freaking out. She's like, what's wrong? What is wrong with you? I'm just like, what do you mean, what's wrong? That, that video is fucked up. What is the purpose of that? You teach a gorilla how to talk, you shoot in the shit, you get it a pet kitten, and then it dies, and then the gorilla cries, and it's fucking sad, and then that this. That's what you're leaving me with? I gotta walk around with that in my fucking head? How was that the end of the video? Somebody, for fuck's sakes, tell me. Dude, that gorilla understood the concept of death. If it understands the concept of death, it understands its own captivity, okay? So it never dawned on that lady that whole time she's shooting the shit with them. It never dawned on her just dying to the thing like, like, hey, like, do you wanna get, get the fuck out of here? Do you? Hate it in here? Do you want to fucking kill us for sticking you in here away from your friends in the jungle? And the thing would be like, Nah! Nah, pl please! Get me out! I beg of you! It fucking sucks in here! Right? And then you could have brainstormed, right? Like, okay! Okay, I'm gonna get you out of here! And then the only bad part would be you'd have to deal with the gorilla and it's this crazy fucking gorilla idea. You know what I mean? Like brainstorming this escape plan. The girl will be like, okay, we'll get a bunch of bananas, we'll throw them and distract them, and then we'll climb out just using our arms. And then you literally just have to sit there going like, okay, okay, uh, uh, not, not trying to be a dick, but I have a better idea. No, 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 no disrespect to you, okay? I'm gonna go big and tall. I'm gonna get a jacket, a hat, some fucked up looking shoes, okay? And what I need from you, what I need from you, okay? What I need from you is you, you, you gotta lay off this shit, all right? No more of this, okay? No, 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 no disrespect, okay? I need you, I need you to man up, all right? Stand up straight, arm down, stand up straight. Here's the difficult part, right here, okay? Left hand, right foot, right hand, left foot. You got it? Bam, bam. All right? You get that shit down, I'll get you out of here in, in, in 10 days. Cool? It's gonna be okay, good, deal. Fuck. All right. See you in 10 days, right? It's so like the first day the gorilla's sitting there going like, okay, okay.
Yes, day two, day two is kind of getting, day three, day five, day seven, day nine, day ten, I'm doing it! I'm fucking doing it! Then she could have came back and broke that gorilla out of jail, right? You show up at night, look at you doing, you're fucking doing it, girl, that jacket, the hat, come on. And you take him down to the car. That's the only way to get it back. You gotta take it by car down to the harbor. It's the only way to get it back to the jungle. You can't go to the fucking airport, right? You can't go to the airport stand and go through that fucking security, right? <laughs> Once he takes his shoes off and that thumb comes sticking out, it's fucking over. It's over. You keep it below deck. You keep the fucking thing below deck until you get out to international waters. Then you fight. The captain's lost. Come on board, right? And have the thing sit down. Other boats going by and looking at you like, is that a gorilla? Yeah. What do you got, blood diamonds? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> fucking sex slaves, get out of here. I'll have them come aboard and rip that mask right off. Then you're just hanging with the gorilla. You get to have that experience of seeing the thing free for the first time. It comes over the horizon and finally sees the jungle. It's getting all excited. It jumps off the boat. It's rolling around in the sand. You're like, buddy, we did it. Don't fuck up the code. I got to bring it back. We did it. All right, get out of here. I love you too, man. I'm going to miss you. Get out of here before they see you, right? And the thing runs right to the edge of the jungle. And just poof, disappears. Like a dead man. You know what? You want to go see his friends, man? You want to be free? It's going to be fucking great. He's going to go meet his buddies. He's going to talk to his friends now. Like he should be, right? He's, uh, he's going to go talk to his friends. Well, probably teach them how to talk. And of course, I'll probably get horses. Did I just start Planet of the fucking Apes? He's gonna teach his friends how to talk and get horses? Dude, I gotta kill this fucking thing. I gotta kill it. I fucked up. I gotta kill it. Sorry, but where's my block? Where the fuck is my block? Where is it? Where is it? Right here. It was right here. Fuck. You got a little six shooter. Fuck, I'll take this. And you run in the jungle, but it's a gorilla, so it's long gone. But you can't give up, man. All the society's gonna go down on you. You gotta kill this fucking thing. So you just trudge it through the jungle for months. You get six, seven months in, you got like malaria. You're about ready to give up. And out of nowhere, that your buddy just jumps down. Boom, just like, oh shit! What the fuck are you doing here? You just pull out your six shooter. Sorry, buddy. I gotta do it. And they'll be like, but I I I, I thought we were friends. Why? Well, you know, because cause Jesus wanted it that way. You know? Because this whole book, he made us in his image, which which is, you know, we're, we're better than you, you know? Sorry, I can't have you talking to other fucking chimps and then you tear down the Statue of Liberty. I just. Everyone's going to think I'm an asshole. I, I, I... Look, I'll make it quick. And right as you go to pull the trigger, the gorilla pulls out that Glock you couldn't find. <laughs> I just, I just want to know one thing. How, how did you know? You knew before I knew. I don't have an ending for this. <laughs> I don't. And in a weird way, now you know how I felt when I watched that video. You know what it was? You know what it was? It was I did that joke all around the country, all right? And the gorilla always died. Because Jesus wanted it that way, and that was it. And it fucking bombed in every goddamn city in this country, except for Dallas, Texas. That was the only place where they got it. And I'm not shitting on Texas. It, it, it bombed in Houston, Austin, El Paso, San Antonio. Killed in Dallas. They're the only ones who got it. They were just like, hey, man, you did what you had to do. You did what you had to do, man. I mean, I love that gorilla, too, but goddamn it. You cannot have two species working together. I'll tell you right now, you get a couple of gorillas on a bareback horse with a single bowl action rifle. That is 
the end of society as we know it. You should get a hypothetical medal for killing that gorilla, <laughs> hypothetically. So, all right. I'll, I'm going to end with a quick little story here, OK? OK, they're always talking about how to make a woman happy, but I don't think they do it enough to help you guys out how to make a man happy, right? The great thing about men is we're fucking simple. We're fucking simple, OK? So here's the thing right here. You want to make a guy happy? If you're with a good guy, OK, this is also all you got to do, OK? How about four times a year, one's a thief. You go out to the kitchen without him saying shit. You go out to the kitchen, you make a sandwich, you get him a beer, you walk out, you give it to him, you don't say a word, and you just fucking leave. That's all you gotta do. Every three months, you do that, you keep him happy. That's all it takes. Now I know right out of the gate, this is coming off sexist, right? It's because I'm saying go out in the kitchen, make your man a sandwich. I'm not saying women belong in the kitchen, barefoot, pregnant, rubbing my balls. I'm not saying that, okay? I'm just saying women, go in the kitchen. Just go in the kitchen four times in a year, make a sandwich. A toddler could do that. Put it together, grab two slices of pre-made, pre-sliced bread, two handfuls of pre-murdered meat, put a little mustard on it, grab a beer, walk out, just hand it to him, don't say shit, and then fucking leave. And when I say leave, I mean leave. I don't mean walk into another room for like 10 minutes and then stick your head back and just be like, did you like it? Was it good? Great. Sit downstairs, we need to, don't yell at me, I just made you a sandwich. I don't mean that, I mean leave. Get in the car and fucking get out of here. Take the kids, drive down the street, go see Lord of the Rings a couple of times, and leave your man in the stunned silence of what you just did. If you ever want to see your guy get emotional, you ever want to see a man get emotional, you make him a fucking sandwich that he didn't ask for. I'm telling you, he's going to have to dry the tears with the bread. <laughs> he's going to be so shocked. Like, you made this for me? I didn't even ask. Oh, my God. <laughs> I think she still gets a fuck. Quick story, me and my wife bought a house in 2011, and by me and my wife, I mean I paid for it. I... <laughs> she hates that joke, but I don't give a shit. It's true. She's always breaking my fall. Don't put your shoes over here, they belong over there. Yeah, well I bought over there, and I bought over here, so I'll put my fucking shoes wherever I want them. Oh, shirt coming off, where's it going? Right? <laughs> so we get into the house, she's scoping out the house because she's smart, she's finding the rooms to get sun, she's 